Well, your children's U.S. residency will affect your choice of an executor from your estate. Your executor is responsible for gathering all of your assets after you die, paying all your debts, filing your tax returns, and then determining what's left for your beneficiaries. Many people name their children as executors, but if the children live outside of Canada, it can be difficult for them to administer the estate from abroad. Tax filings can be complicated and costly for the estate, and the estate itself may be considered non-resident, making it subject to different taxation and filing requirements. You might want to consider someone other than the children as your executor, such as another relative, a friend, or even a corporate trustee. Next, your will should be designed to take into account both Canadian and U.S. tax rules. In Canada, when you die, your wealth is taxed as if you'd sold everything prior to your death, and you only pay tax on the increase in value. But in the United States, an estate tax applies to the value of one's worldwide estate, although there's a generous five and a quarter million dollar exemption given to a person who has died. Think carefully about whether you're going to leave your estate outright to your children because that gift is going to increase the children's worldwide estate and potentially have them subject to the U.S. estate tax. Instead, you might consider leaving gifts for the children in special trusts, designed to be excluded from the estate tax. If we are putting trusts in place, we'll also need to consider where these trusts will reside. Some people make the mistake of setting up simple trusts in their will rather than paying for cross-border professional advice. The problem is that Canadian trusts are seen negatively by the U.S. government. The child may end up paying tax on income that is earned by the trust even if it's not distributed during the year. So you'll need to include special clauses in the trust to avoid this result. When children live abroad, typical Canadian planning is often not feasible. For example, a family business owner will often consider carrying out an estate freeze meaning that we cap the business owner's tax liability by exchanging his gross shares for fixed value shares. We then put gross shares in the hands of the children. But if you're putting the shares in the hands of kids who are outside the country, again you need to consider how the foreign government will look at those shares. A U.S. resident owning Canadian shares may be subject to taxation on the corporate earnings, even if the money isn't distributed from the company or the person may be required to reveal extensive information about the Canadian company. It's all very costly and potentially has serious tax consequences. So again, it's important for you to understand whether the available planning techniques are applicable to your non-resident children. Finally, I would strongly advise you to engage appropriate professional advisors, such as our group at Crow Soberman, to make sure you provide the best tax situation for your children under both Canadian and U.S. tax rules.